Hi, I'm Phil Linhan, the Operations Director at the Mainstream Group. Today, we're going to cover LGV reversing, and we will go through all the things that are required for the reversing element of the LGV driving test. This is a test of your ability to reverse the vehicle. If you look at this diagram, I'll explain what is required. Here we have four cones in the shape of a parking bay. At the rear of the parking bay, there's a yellow and black painted stopping area and a barrier. If you look forward, you will see a further two cones and a cone with a pole in it. From this point, you will drive forward and stop with the extreme front of your vehicle up to and in line with these two cones. Then reverse as indicated by the blue line and stop with the extreme rear of the vehicle in the yellow and black painted stopping area. Try not to touch any cones or poles or barriers whilst you are reversing. Your instructor will probably pre-place the vehicle for you. The examiner will ask you if you understand the exercise and when you confirm this, you are free to start. Now you don't have to wear your seatbelt for this exercise alone, but if you choose to remove it, make sure you put it on before you go out on the road. Okay, I'll begin. Drive forward as explained by the examiner. You need to go to the right hand side of the pole and, and get the vehicle nice and straight when you line up between the front two cones. So I'm just passing the first cone with a pole in it now. I'm watching it on my left hand mirror, so I'm getting close to it but not touching it. As I go forward, you ensure the whole combination is nice and straight. I'm looking forward now in the front mirror to get the extreme front of the vehicle in line with the two cones. So I engage reverse gear and I've got to bend the Arctic before I can get it into the bay. So I need to do that by putting on some right hand lock. So I put some right hand lock on and then I watch the trailer bend and then I follow it around by putting some left hand lock. Now I have to avoid driving over the right hand line with the wheels on the right hand side of the tractor. So I look out the window. You can stop, it's okay. I look out the window and make sure that the right hand front wheel doesn't cross the line. You are permitted to touch the yellow line, but you will incur a driving fault. If you cross the line, you will incur a serious fault, and that will be a fail. As I go back, I'm looking in my mirror to make sure that I miss the cone with the pole in. It's just coming into view now. And the left hand lock follows it around in order to bend the trailer into the box. I'm looking in all my mirrors, ensuring that my right hand wheel doesn't go over the line. And now I just follow the trailer back into the bay. And in order to straighten up, you turn towards the bend. So I've got a right hand bend on now, and in order to straighten it, I would put right hand lock on. In order to bend it more, I would put a left hand lock on. Just following it into the bay. And straighten it all up now. So I'm turning right to bring the front of the tractor around, straighten the whole unit and trailer up. The last little bit's coming around now. Just getting in line with the three cones on the right hand side that form the parking bay. Just tease a little bit. Now it's the final little parts of straightening it into the bay. A Little bit of left hand lock. It's often easier to keep an eye on the trailer with a little bit of bend in the trailer. I'm following it around now as the back end of the trailer moves into the bay. We've got a perfect line coming up and now I need to watch to keep it straight. I use the three cones as my marker. I'm now perfectly straight and I need to just finish up with the rear 
of the vehicle in the yellow and black painted stopping area. I'm checking both mirrors. I'm nice and central in the bay. I'm looking in my bottom and my top mirror on the right hand side to ensure that I don't go too far and knock the barrier over. So the last little bit, I'm just coming in. Last couple of centimeters, I stop it there. You put the handbrake on into neutral and switch the engine off. At this point, you are permitted to get out of the vehicle, walk to the back and check if you've gone far enough into the yellow and black painted stopping area. Some examiners will stop you from doing that if you've already passed the test. They'll say you're all right and they'll climb on board.